guys, my name, uh, hi guys, my name, I'm sitting on TV, I'm here with the blue card, Jordan, so give us your thoughts. Uh, from the start, I think United were a lot quicker to the ball, um, they were pressing us, we weren't giving enough pressure, we weren't working as a unit, we were slow, um, second to every ball, not enough urgency. Um, after those two goals, you know, it was poor defending, I think, we were sat back when United were breaking quick on the counter-attack. Uh, we were giving them too much time on the ball, we weren't going towards them, we were letting them come into the box. Yeah. That's how those first two goals came. Um, and then we never got a grip of the game after that, and um, once we got that second, uh, that first goal, um, late, that's when we started to push, obviously left it too hard for ourselves. Um, so for me personally, I think Sterling was very quiet. I think he's a very good player, but top teams, he always goes quiet against Liverpool United. Stuck on the wing there, every time he got the ball, Wan-Bissaka played very well, don't get me wrong, but... Um, I thought, well, thought Wan-Bissaka Mark Sterling out the game. Yeah, definitely, definitely very quiet, just sat on the wing there, and uh, we just need to get hold of the game. We need to be a bit more urgent, we need to do press in numbers. Um, move the ball around and just be a bit more direct. Uh, this season we've been playing too many square balls and back, back four, not being direct enough. And you can see how United, when they get the ball, they straight straight away on the counter attack. Yeah. Well, I said direct. before the game, the counter attack be the problem. I didn't realise how much of a problem it was going to be. We mm -hmm. looked 100%. petrified of them going forward. 100%. We, we looked we looked scared of them. Yeah, 100%. I completely agree. Completely agree. The thing worries me is, and I'm not trying to scapegoat anybody out here, I thought Otamendi looked a lot better than Stones when he come on. 100%, yeah, I agree. I don't understand. I think John Stones has gone backwards for me. Um, or not backwards. I don't think he's improved from the player we signed at Everton in four years. Otamendi, uh -huh. I thought, dealt with everything that he did. Yeah. Maguire looks, today looked like a player we bloody well missed. Solid. We missed him straight mm -hmm. out of the shoot. Yeah. And the, the thing that worries me is we looked, we looked absolutely... I can't even think of the word. We looked so quiet up front. Yeah. We had, we had, we had, we weren't gonna. We were getting the ball to the box all day long, but we never had the confidence we were gonna finish. Yeah, it's like when we got when they got the ball in the final third, we didn't know what to do with it. United had packed pack the players in, like like most of the opposition does when we play come against us. Put all the players behind the ball, but we didn't know what to do with it, and that's when that square passing comes along. You no, know, we didn't know what to do. There's no movement. Uh, we're not direct enough. And I agree with you with Stones as well. Back four, we've had a few troubles with injuries, but um, yeah, Stones was a bit slow, too slow, not quick enough, not yeah. tight enough on the man. Not and Angelino stuck looked out of sorts. I, yeah. I don't know. He just. And also for me, going forward, we're resorting to bringing long balls, playing long balls over the top. Yeah. When we know we've got a small side, we know United have got a bigger side, they're better than us in the air. We had what 12, 13 corners, and we only did one thing with them right at the end. We're yeah. Playing long balls, and we're not going to ever get any headers against them. No. It was just. I mean, the, the thing that's worrying for me is, I mean, forget the title. The title's over with. It looks like we're actually in a, we're in a fight for top four now. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're in a fight for top four because mm -hmm. yeah, we're down a third. And see, see, if we keep playing like that, we've got Leicester in a couple of weeks. Yeah, we're we're going to get beat four. again here. Mm -hmm. We're going to get beat. And the worrying thing is, he's, he's telling everyone we're not going to buy in January. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure if we can wait for Laporte and Sane to get back. Yeah. I really don't. There's a concern, isn't it? It's a real concern because yeah. the, the last five games, let's just say, we've been, we've been doing the same thing, you know. There isn't a plan B, is there? No, there's not. There's no and plan B. I was I was praying at half time, 2 0 down against United at home. Guardiola was having a serious word. And for me, I wouldn't have took Bernardo off. I would have took Sterling off, not Bernardo. Bernardo's one of our. That was a players. strange one, that. Yeah. That was strange. a strange one. Because mm -hmm. I, I think I, I think Bernardo looked from where we were, because I sit in the lower Colin Bell, and mm -hmm. Bernardo looked absolutely bewildered away he came off that pitch. Yeah. And Sterling managed to stay on it. Exactly. I, I just don't understand exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. But. What can we expect for the rest of the season now? Because <laughs> the mean, title's gone. Title's that's, that's gone. gone. Liverpool, Liverpool are running away with it. Uh, we've just got to rethink, rethink, strategise, and we put, put the work in. Put the work in. You can't, you can't turn up and not put 100 percent in. And you've got to learn from your mistakes. They need to look back at the games, the mistakes, the goals, and understand where they're going wrong. And where yeah. they're going wrong is giving players too much time on the ball when when a player's got the ball and you give them time they've got all the time to do whatever they want you need to yeah. press them you need to get in the face force them to make a decision and that's where you're going to win the balls back mm. you're going to go forward again um, yeah it's it's one of them it's well, a derby day but we're all disappointed but onwards and onwards to the next game I guess mm -hmm. Arsenal next week I know we've got yeah. midweek in the Champions League but that's a bit of a dead rubber so we'll just have to go to 
obviously that's going to be a great game two teams out of sorts mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's not a game I'm looking forward to I'll be honest but 98 Man City Man TV cheers thank you